It's Wednesday, January 19th. I'm Allie Hoxie with your headlines. The University of Michigan has reached a $490 million settlement with the victims of the late Dr. Robert Anderson. More than 1,000 former athletes and other students sued the university, claiming they had been sexually assaulted by Dr. Anderson. Anderson worked at the university between 1968 and 2003. He died in 2008. We'll have much more on this settlement for you throughout the day. Workers at Ford's Flat Rock Assembly Plant are pumping the brakes on production this week. The automaker announcing Tuesday the plant will be taking some downtime due to the supply chain issues. This, of course, is related to the global semiconductor shortage that's shown to be a challenge for companies over the year. Ford says it expects production at its Flat Rock plant to resume next week. The Lexus Velodrome has set a new reopening date after high winds caused the inflatable dome to collapse last month. The indoor cycling facility is located on Mack Avenue in Midtown Detroit. Repairs have been completed on the dome and the generator that failed during the collapse has also been fixed. The goal is to have limited training start next Tuesday and a fully operational schedule by Monday, January 31st. A fairly mild start to the day, but it doesn't end that way. Temperatures will be falling through the course of the day today and with a strong wind too. So winds gusting 25 to 35 miles per hour will fall from the 30s to the 20s and 20s for highs from Thursday through the weekend.